RV style with amazing race host John Montgomery. Oh, yeah, right. There's that Olympic gold thing. <laughs> no right. big deal. Hey. No big deal. Yes. Lovely wife, golden girl, Darla, here as well. Nice to meet you. And Stark, if you didn't meet Stark before the break, we had a total love in. This is awesome. Who's on point. Look at this behavior. This is crazy. He's not usually like this. Planned it. <laughs> planned it. And you also plan RVing trips all over uh, BC. Yeah, Western Canada this summer. I love it. And we've been talking all morning about our favorite destinations. Yeah. Can you give us your top three? Well, we've got uh, a few destinations in mind, but for different reasons. Uh, when we were going through the interior, we ended up in Christina Lake, oh. and Darla and I both loved it there. It's the warmest tree-lined lake in Canada, they say? Yeah, it's awesome. I didn't know that. Awesome. Oh, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Warmest. And we don't know whether it's thermals that do it. We don't care. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> and Cascade Cove RV Park there was phenomenal. Uh, great setup, beautiful little area just on the edge of town. Uh, the West Coast ruggedness is something that you just can't get everywhere on Earth. And Tofino embodies that in spades. We love to surf. We love the adventure. And we had fires on the beaches and yeah. dish uh, has to. Unbelievable. So. Favorite thing, hands yeah. down. Yeah. Cooking Love a little it. on that open flame. A little enjoy. bit. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. We've so been good. using this kitchen, though, yeah. times We don't as well, need so. the, to cook on an open flame, but we can certainly enjoy the fire on the beach uh, with that vista in front of you. It's unbelievable. Uh, and that was at Crystal Cove. And then we were just up at uh, Riverside RV Park in Whistler, which has access to all the amenities and plus one of our special favorite places on Earth, the uh, Scandinavian Spa is right there. So I'm down with that. Uh, we, we're the there. We're, we're like Jello today. We got uh, spa spoiled yesterday for sure. Isn't it lovely when you put away the phones and you can't talk? <laughs> Decompress. Well, let's talk yeah. inside. Right. Let's head into the let's RV and uh, see on, uh, what, how appointed you are, you know? Ladies uh, and half males first. <laughs> oh, half males. That's funny. Oh, it's nice. So we're up front. So you put a bunch of miles on this. Let's look. I'm just going to yeah, have a little have seat a seat. if you don't mind. You got a little coffee going on. My darling, sit down. Okay, yeah. so fully functional kitchen. Important? Absolutely important, important, especially for us. Darla does most of the cooking, uh, be only because I have to do some of the blue jobs that exist outside the RV. <laughs> mm. uh, but whether you're cooking outside the or inside, jobs are interchangeable, by the way. They are. They are. They're not uh, steadfast, not by any stretch. But that's one thing that. Uh, is important for us is food and we like to prepare our own food we have fairly restrictive diets both uh, by choice and by need and the having the RV the kitchen the stove uh, the amenities the barbecue you can't go wrong I mean you do not have to leave your your restrictions and your dietary uh, I guess wishes at home you can right you do don't have you to eat junk food on yeah. the road drive through you can stop at all the great markets and you such can. all over and the place. BC has those in the summertime in droves you can stop anywhere along the way we got nice organic cherries in southern BC it was pretty sweet, so. It looks really cozy up here as well. Look, you got a big watermelon already. Yeah, yes. so we might drink a little coffee here and there. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out, obviously, when you're traveling on an airplane, there is a lot of gas consumption for sure, but yep. how much does it cost typically to fill up an RV? There are all size? different sizes. Running up and down the road, you can see A class, B class, and C class. And this, this is, is a C a, class okay. with the overhead. Uh, the B classes are the Mercedes, the smaller ones, and then the A classes are the jumbo bus. But depending on the rig you've got and depending on what you're towing, uh, what you're hauling and how you're driving, uh, it depends on your fuel mileage. For the instance, this one we picked up in the noose. We went to Tofino, uh, up to Whistler, and back down to Squamish on a single tank of fuel. So it's got some oh, that's great. incredible range. And, and ballpark, the, how many liters per? You can probably get as many as about 150, 175 liters in this tank, I think. So, right. Yeah, that's a can, lot of travel on that tank of gas. Indeed. Very cool. You're not, uh, you're stopping every 10 minutes to get fuel, that's for sure. So are you recognized when you're out and about RVing across the western coast of Canada? A little bit here and there. And with a, with a beard like this and uh, and shaggy hair and a baseball hat, no, you, you have a great sense of anonymity in this country, and people who do recognize you certainly give you some space and some privacy. And uh, I'm always feel uh, incredibly rewarded when people come up and say hello and, and hand you a the picture of beer. Yeah, yes. even better when you get a you picture. You walked right <laughs> by me when that happened. I, I did. happened to be in in the Whistler Town Center when yeah. you did the. Well, here's a high five. Oh, Believe it. Yeah. All right, yeah. there you Four have years it. Late. John Montgomery, <laughs> Darla, thank you so much yeah, for being here. Go you. RVing, find out more about their adventures. It is so lovely to have you here. Thanks for having us on. Thanks we for having us. We'll keep tracking you down, and now you're making me want to go to Tofino. <laughs>